G'day, this is vlog number three where I talk about employee versus business owner and my experience with both. It's Rowan here from Your Life Designed. If you're new to this channel, Your Life Designed is all about inspiring breakthrough to a healthier, wealthier, better version of you so you can live your life designed. So, very quickly, what's my work history? Well, since finishing high school, which is almost 20 years ago now, I've done different jobs from working in bars to construction work, even in abattoirs, putting plants on the side of a freeway, but mainly structural engineering, which I've been doing for the last about 10 years, I suppose. So in this clip, I want to share what I like about both. I don't want to rag on either of them because both have so many merits and have contributed so much to my life. It's important to point out what has been good about them both and you know, implicitly you can see what is lacking in the other one. So about being an employee, what I really liked about that was the financial security. That's probably the biggest thing. Now that I have mortgage, kids, all that sort of stuff, that financial security was uh, currently, I'm a, a business owner. I run my own structural consultancy, just so you know where I'm coming from. Having that financial security was nice. It was comfortable. You rock up, you do your hours, you get paid. It, it's very easy. I also liked the, when I worked for a bigger company, I liked the company events they used to have. And I enjoyed all the friendships that I made from that bigger company. There were lots of young people there. It was a fun environment. Lots of, yeah, new connections made there, which was great. Also, I didn't have to worry about admin or legals or the accounting or the marketing or any of that sort of stuff that was all pretty much taken care of. So that made things pretty easy as well. But what is it that I like about nowadays, being a business owner? Just yesterday, I was just walking around feeling so incredibly inspired about having made the move to being a business owner. I started the structural engineering business only two weeks ago, but realistically for the last eight or nine months, I've been building up my own client base and basically running my own show. So what I really like about being a business owner is when you work harder, you get paid more. I never really got that as an employee. It was all very capped. Once a year, you would have a, a salary review and generally the increase was pretty minimal. So with this, if you work hard, if you get yourself out there, if you win more projects, you get paid more. And that is fantastic. That's super inspiring. Second of all, in terms of watching the clock, I remember I would always have this pressure to get to work on time or making sure I wasn't spending too long having a lunch break. That, that pressure, that feeling of, uh, I suppose it gave me just this, the tiniest amount of anxiety. Every, every day I would feel a bit of pressure. I would be racing my son up to daycare and dropping him off super quickly and, and then racing into work and I don't know, it just didn't feel good. Also taxes, the tax system is really geared towards being a business owner with all the deductions and the, the offsets and all those sorts of things. Uh, the fees, I set my own fees. I let people know what my services are worth rather than having a boss tell me what I'm worth, which is nice. And if you looked at vlog number one, then I shared that freedom is one of my biggest values. And the freedom that has come so far with being a business owner is just amazing. Yes, I'm in a quite a lucky scenario or, or yeah, I suppose it's a lucky scenario in that there's a lot of construction work going on in, in Sydney and it's reasonably easy to find projects. So there's a, a lot of different dynamics that come with it that you know are all kind of the stars aligned sort of stuff but regardless the time freedom uh, that comes with being a business owner can be amazing it's I mean it's 9 30 in the morning normally I will have raced out to um, be at work on time over an hour ago by now whereas I get to work hard for certain portions of the day. I'm inspired to work really hard to get my projects done so that I can free up time to go and build my side hustles, which is you know, just an amazing freedom to have. So if you are an employee and you're you know, needing a, a career change or you've, you've been thinking about it and you, you just don't know what steps to take next, I've got two recommendations or two thoughts for you. One is to get a side hustle. You need to find a side hustle and not a side hustle that's like selling your homemade jewelry at the markets. You know, that's a great and little income that can come from that. But if you're really wanting to get out of uh, the, the job or the career that you're doing now, then you need to build a side hustle that has legs, that you can see people are making substantial 
uh, money from and building a decent business from. Second is start doing whatever you need to do in your workplace to start negotiating flexible working arrangements. When you can negotiate flexible working arrangements and you can work from home or you know, out of the office, then as I said before, you can work really hard at your job for four or five hours a day and then allocate three or four hours to building your side hustle. So flexible working arrangements is another really important thing to do. If you've read The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss, that's one of his big recommendations. Uh, now, if you are young and you're just starting your career or maybe you're still at school or maybe you just want a, a total new career change altogether, then check out vlog number four where I share some thoughts and some observations I've made over the last 20 plus years of, of the various jobs that I've been in. And I've been observing and thinking about some, some of the perks and the, the benefits and disbenefits for different jobs. You know, sometimes I'm sitting there and it's bucketing down with rain. I think to myself, you know what, I'm really glad that I do this. So I, I share a whole bunch of thoughts and observations that I've made over that, that extended period of time that might help you to think about or isolate a certain career option for you moving forward. So I hope you got something out of that. I hope you get something out of the next one. I hope you get something out of the last ones. Have an awesome day. Enjoy, take care, and see you again soon. Bye.